Hey everybody, today I want to show you the new door we bought for our Uni Coda 16 inch pizza oven. And today we want to try to answer the question, is this the best thing to happen to pizza since the Uni was invented? Stay tuned to find out. So here we are, we've just received the package from Amazon. It came in a tube box. There's the door and also it comes with a bag that includes a handle, two brackets, and two hinges, as well as an instruction set. I do want to call your attention to the instructions at the bottom of the instructions, which is very important. It addresses the issue of combustion with this door. This will change the characteristics of airflow to your oven, and this is a very important issue. You want to be really comfortable with this if you are going to install this door. We'll talk more about that later. So here we are putting the bottom brackets on the bottom of the oven, and I have the oven upside down. I've taken out the stone and I've laid it on a towel in my kitchen. And here we are installing the hinges. All I needed to use was a very short, stubby uh, Phillips head screwdriver and my fingertips to tighten every part that was needed to install this. And then lastly, you put on the handle and then finally attach the hinges to the brackets. One of the key things you want to remember when you're installing the door on your oven is to follow the instructions from the manufacturer and also to listen to some of the reviews from users uh, who recommend strongly that you make sure that you have a large gap at the bottom of the oven between the door and the oven itself, about three eighths to one half of an inch. And that's what I did here. Uh, added about a half inch gap at the bottom. And the reason for this is to make sure that there is enough air flowing into the oven to uh, optimize the combustion of the gas uh, with the air. I'm looking at the door, um, you know, there's not a seal around the edge uh, of the door to the oven. It's actually pretty um, large. There's a, there's a large gap. And at the bottom, you want to have that large gap. And even with those uh, wide open openings on the front of the door, uh, combustion and airflow is a problem. One of the things about this oven is that um, it's a little bit different than the other ovens that Uni makes, which have chimneys. Air flows in and then up the chimney. Uh, so if you're using gas or wood with some of those ovens, uh, they have uh, kind of an airflow that's natural. With this one, air flows in and out of the front. There's also air uh, vents on the bottom back side of the oven but overall, it's really important to make sure that there's always plenty of airflow to ensure optimal combustion. So when I installed this, uh, like I say, I did follow the, the recommendations of putting about a half inch gap at the bottom front of the oven to make sure that there was enough air flowing. Okay, for the next section of this review, I wanted to do a heating test to see how fast does the oven heat up with the door in place. So I set up a iPad to my right um, to time this and I sped up the clock here or the film about 35 times except for when I'm taking a temperature um, and I get a reading so like this at this first five minute interval I'll do this at every five minutes I got 540 degrees now one thing you'll notice and I mentioned it here in the in the captions below is that every time you open the door there was more and more soot showing when this video began that door was brand new but watch the door as this video progresses. Here we are at the 10 minute mark. We are at 723 degrees. So about 10 minutes, that's, that's heating up pretty fast. Um, we get to the 15 minute mark and our temperature um, is taken and notice the soot again. So we get a reading of Takes me a minute to, to get the right spot. I want to do the same spot every time. Uh, 847 degrees. And then we get to the 20 minute mark and take another reading. And one of the things uh, about my, my thermometer I, I, I learned is that the maximum temperature it can read is 932. So we're at 920. I take another reading and I get a high reading, which is beyond the limits of this thermometer, apparently. And I, I shoot it a couple more times just to get an idea. So I think we're definitely at the limits of this thermometer. But look at that door. Look how black it got um, with just 20 minutes of full flame 
in the uni. Now this is a day, it's pretty warm, it's in Texas during the middle of summer, over 100 degrees, and so we decided to go ahead and cook a pizza to see how this went. Um, and I have this sped up uh, also just so we can kind of keep it moving. Um, I probably should have turned this flame down to be honest, uh, to, to prevent the top from cooking too fast, but in the end, uh, it might not have been the, the worst idea because the bottom, I'll, I'll tell you the, you know, cooking at 900 degrees changes things. Uh, at over 900 degrees will change the, the speed at which you cook your pizzas. Um, I found it to be too fast. The, the, the stone was too hot, and I found it to be a lot more difficult to get the right temperature on the stone with the door. Um, it just got really hot really fast between pizzas, and in the end, uh, even though I burned the top, uh, what was more concerning to me was the bottom of the pizzas were coming out blackened. And, you know, I like some char, but not quite this much. Also, um, something that we noticed as we were cooking is that there were flames coming out the bottom. Now, this is a little bit of a breezy day, I will say. So I think some air was coming in from the front of the oven and pushing it out through these vents on the bottom back of, of the oven. Um, but this was something that was a little bit concerning to me and notice the soot again there. And then finally, after we had, uh, left on the oven, after we had cooked, we left it going for a while just to see how it all ended up. And I turned off the, the flames, but again, it was still getting a high reading uh, even a, a few minutes after cooking. And, and notice how, how hot that got. That oven had white ash in it. Okay, now our last thing I want to talk about is Look at what Uni says about adding accessories to your oven. Now, they are against doors. And why is it? Well, first, they're going to invalidate your, your warranty. And, and why would they do something like that and take such a strong position? Read through this uh, entry. And I'll post it in the links below. But adding a door can actually lead to uh, the possibility or the risk of explosion. So in the end, after all was said and done, where did I end up on this modification for my Uni? Well, I know this is going to be controversial because I know there's some big fans of this door, but ultimately I'm going to give it a thumbs down. There were too many things that I found that I didn't like about it and too few benefits to make me want to keep it. Um, one of the first things I'd say is one of the reasons I was really interested in it was because I thought I, I could uh, heat up my oven faster and also save quite a bit on propane. To me, that turned out to not really be true. Um, I found that the heating up time uh, in my test was not that impressive. It still took quite a while to, to heat up. I had the impression that it would take maybe like five to 10 minutes to come to full heat. And it really took uh, much longer than that. And one point I will make is that the day that I was doing the test for the heating, it was 105 degrees here in Texas. It was a little breezy, which would uh, you know make it slow down a little bit in terms of the heating, but it was 105 degrees outside. So it should have warmed up pretty quick and it didn't. Once it did get warm, I did find that the door tended to, or the door made the oven overheat. The, the, the stone on the bottom continued to get very, very hot. And I found that it was harder to cook pizza precisely because it was so hot and ended up having too many charred pizzas. Not my favorite way to have pizza. I like a, a good crisp crust with a little bit of char, but not just a blackened crust. And it was too easy to get a blackened crust. The next thing I would say is that Uni itself uh, recommends against using this kind of modification. And ultimately, as I watched the performance of the door and the oven work together, I can see why. One thing you will find when you are using this door is that you get a lot of black smoke coming out the front of the oven and also a lot of soot on the inside of the door and other parts of the oven. Even the top edge of the oven uh, ends up getting soot around the rim. Soot is a indicator of, it's an indicator of incomplete combustion, and that's telling us that it's not getting enough air into the oven, which means that there could be some buildup of gas, um, or uh, especially if the, if the oven goes out, if actually the flame goes out, the oven can actually build up gas inside and then have ignition and an explosion. And this is something that Uni is very specific about, that this could actually lead to an explosion of the oven. And gosh, I love my family. I love my house. And I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth adding a door to my pizza oven to put all that at risk. So ultimately, 
this was a, a neat idea. I really applaud the maker of this for showing some innovation and some entrepreneurship to come out with a product like this and bring it to market. And I love the little guy and the little uh, businessman doing this kind of thing. But ultimately, this is not the right product uh, for me. I'm curious, though, if uh, you disagree with me, if you have other opinions, if you want to share those in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me where I went wrong. Tell me what you think, what your experience has been. Put them in the comments below and share them with others. With that, that's what I have. I, I'm going to give this a no, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, hope you enjoy your uni pizzas. Thanks, everybody.